Okay, in the last video we talked about increases in anabolic hormones from training and how it made no difference in size or strength. And now we're gonna look at the flip side of things and we're gonna talk about cortisol, which is a very catabolic hormone. And we wanna see if increases in that from training is negative or if it doesn't make a difference whatsoever, or maybe it's even positive, who knows? But we wanna take a look at it and see how things look. So you've probably seen it before, or at least I certainly have. I've read plenty of articles that say things like, make sure you keep your workout under an hour or under whatever certain amount of time because if you go for too long, then your cortisol levels start to rise and you're gonna go catabolic and you're gonna lose all your gains or at a minimum, you won't make any more progress because if you keep going with cortisol so high, you're not doing yourself any good and all you're doing is risking injury and things like that. So is it like anabolic hormones or is it true this time? So let's take a look at some research. There was actually research done, they went for 12 weeks and they took a look at what kind of made a bigger difference. Increases in anabolic hormones like IGF-1 and testosterone or what happened when cortisol levels were high. And what they actually found out, they were doing legs for the study and they found out that once like, like I said last video, that increases in the anabolic hormones really didn't make much of a difference. But what was really surprising the most by this study was they actually found that the higher the cortisol levels were, the better progress that they made. They had better results with higher levels of cortisol. Crazy, right? Catabolic hormone. But it actually kind of makes sense because think about it. They call cortisol the stress hormone and let's, let's face it, what stresses your body more than an intense weight training session? It's gonna put a major stress on your body. So of course cortisol is gonna raise quite a bit from it. But you know what? High cortisol from a workout just means that you got a really good workout in. If you have extremely high cortisol levels, you probably smashed your workout or you went for a long time and you put a, a great deal of strength on your body and therefore levels were high but you made good progress because of it. Because just like the anabolic hormones, small fluctuations in cortisol or catabolic hormones does not make a difference. Where it makes a big difference is if you have high elevated levels for a very long time, long term levels, not short little spikes. So once again, do not worry about hormones during training, before training, after training. It doesn't make a big difference if you have short spikes here and there, no difference whatsoever. Just do what you have to do to get a good workout in. Make sure you're working hard. Make sure you continually get in progressive overload and you will see progress. Don't get caught up in the hormone chasing because it makes no difference whatsoever. Okay, I hope that helps a lot. If you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. Make sure you share it with anybody that you think it might help. Subscribe for more information and I will see you guys in the next video.